Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars with Earl and Nancy Stewart. Reach them with your questions at 877-960-9960. This week we mystery shopped Schumacher Volkswagen of North Palm Beach. Our mystery shopping team returned to its original mission to uncover the catch between deceptive car dealer advertising. Browsing the internet for dealership ads, our analysts uh, stumbled by one of those classic too-good-to-be-true promotions. So we came across an offer on a new Volkswagen Jetta S, Volkswagen Jetta S, for $69. Not $169, not $269, $69 monthly payment with no money down. <laughs> How does anybody believe this up? But you know they do believe it. Yes, uh, absolutely. They flock in there. And I want to believe. I want to believe. I mean, it just the no money down scheme is not new in the automotive retail industry. Its success lies in how the consumer uh, interprets this phrase, down payment. I mean, what does down payment mean? To most people, no money down means that the car buyer provides no money to the dealer at the time of delivery in the beginning of the financing or lease term. I mean, that's what, that's common sense would tell you that. Well, it ain't so. It is a very attractive offer for many people because it sounds so affordable. And leasing is supposed to have the advantage you don't have to have come out of pocket. Leasing is supposed to be a low monthly payment without cash out of pocket. That's what everybody thinks a lease is. Combining the no money down promise with an extremely low monthly payment makes for an advertisement certain to generate a lot of phone calls and a lot of floor traffic in the showroom. This is meant to get you in the door. Sure, there are legitimate offers out there, but I'd say 9 out of 10 are not legitimate. The big question today is, how will Schumacher Volkswagen handle this with our Agent X, our venerated mystery shopping agent? Okay, here's a report speaking in the first person. Not really me, but Agent X. I arrived at Schumacher Volkswagen of North Palm Beach early evening, about 6.30, uh, determined to lease a new Volkswagen Jetta for $69 a month with no money down. I was prepared to tell my salesperson that I'd seen the ad for the $69 payment and that because I had a credit score in the high 700s, I would have no problem qualifying for any program they had. I was immediately greeted by a salesperson named Ricky. I told Ricky that I was interested in a new Jetta. Ricky knew right away what drew me to the dealership and asked, do you mean the one for $69 a month? So it sounds like Ricky had been prepared in the sales meeting. He's ready. Ricky said, are you a current Volkswagen owner? No, does that matter? He answered, well, yes, it does. That offer includes an owner loyalty rebate from Volkswagen. I was taken aback by how rapidly the undisclosed terms of the offer were becoming apparent. I will say this. Uh, It wasn't undisclosed uh, other than the fact that it was in fine print that was practically unreadable, which... For all intents and purposes, that that is undisclosed. There is legal and there's illegal. This is legal, but it's unethical. So it was disclosed in the fine print. In fact, the fine print was in a white print on a light background, which made it even further unreadable. A part of me felt some admiration for how transparent Rookie was. He was saying that right away you have to have the the owner loyalty. I said it looked like that uh, great payment was about to get a lot higher, so much for no money down, I complained. Not necessarily came as reply, keep the the hook in, keep keep him coming, let's run your credit, always offer hope. So uh, I told Ricky that I had a score of 760, uh, or 760 something, and that I would not be submitting a credit application until I was comfortable with all the terms of the deal. You'll notice as we go through here, Ricky went after that credit app many, many times, uh, just, I guess, to prove that he had a real sucker. I don't know. I suggest that we sit down and have him explain in detail how the $69 payment is arrived at and what the payment would be for me without the loyalty rebate. Loyalty rebates, they have two types. They have a loyalty rebate, which means you have to be driving the make car that's advertised, and they also have a conquest rebate, which means you can't be driving the car that's advertised. He told me uh, to get the $69 payment, I would just briefly explain, need the $2,000 Volkswagen loyalty rebate plus $2,500 in inceptions. I sat up stiffly in my seat and demanded to know what inceptions were. 
He explained that this included Schumacher's $795 dealer fee. Now, now this is where Schumacher really crosses the line because what he just did here is illegal. And I said that I haven't been sued before. I'm saying that uh, Schumacher did something illegal. What he did is he advertised no down payment. And then he said that you had to put down the $795 dealer fee. The dealer fee, by Florida law, is disclosed as being profit to the dealer. So profit, when you ask to have that profit applied as a down payment, it is, in fact, it is in fact a down payment. So you can't conceal a dealer fee as not being a down payment. It's profit just like a markup in the car. And they also said there was a $625 bank acquisition fee. Now, this bank acquisition fee is something the leasing company puts in the contract, and it's almost always included in the lease payment. And it isn't kicked back to the dealer, or sometimes it is, but it's deducted from the dealer's proceeds when he gets his kickback from the leasing or purchase company and bank. So uh, oftentimes the dealer gets a piece of the action, the acquisition fee, and if, it, if that's the case, that's a double whammy on Schumacher because he's taking part of the kickback of the acquisition fee, and he's taking his uh, dealer fee, and he's saying he had to make a down payment, and he advertised there was no down payment. Um, and, of course, plus the first payment on the lease, which is okay, uh, that is a payment, and so that's not certainly a, a down payment. It's a monthly payment. And the tax tag. All right, tax and tag is okay because you always add the tax and tag to the purchase or leasing price. There's nothing wrong with it. Where he crossed the line was on the dealer fee for certain and most likely on the bank acquisition fee. Furthermore, he explained that this was a lease for 24 months and only 10,000 miles per year. Let me mention something about 24-month leases. They can be very deceptive. The, the, the shorter the lease, the more you reduce the monthly payment by putting money down. So I'll exaggerate to make a point. What if you had a one-month lease uh, and you had uh, the, the down payment equaled uh, one, one month's uh, payment? Yeah. You'd have, yeah, yeah, it'd, yeah, it'd be 100 percent. So, 42 month lease, the down payment affects the monthly payment much less than a 24 month lease. Is my point. So that's the reason they got down to 69 dollars a month so quickly because they had a short, a very short term lease. You only get the car for two years. 12 month lease, you only get the car for one year. Six month lease, you only get the car for six months. So you're really not getting the value that you do in a longer lease. Um, if I wanted the same payment, I would need to provide $2,000 to make up for the loyalty rebate. That's the amount of the loyalty rebate. Total out of pocket would be $4,500 for this no down payment lease. $4,500 out of pocket on this no down payment lease. Uh, what the hell happened to no money down? I asked angrily. Ricky wasn't phased. He, suggest he, he suggested we go look at the car. Uh, to make sure I liked it, I agreed to go with him under the condition that the terms were made with uh, much better for me. He told me not to worry that he'd sharpen his pencil. Again, you keep pulling them back in. You know, they're they're angry. They're uh, they they want uh, disclosure. So uh, he says, "I'll sharpen my pencil." Rookie attempted to get me to fill out a credit application. There's Effort number three or four on the credit application, really crazy. I told him to slow down because we had not renewed the fi reviewed the final figures. I told him I need a buyer's order to bring home and review with my wife. He said a little disrespectfully, I say a lot disrespectfully, that we already went over the figures. He then asked impatiently when I planned to take delivery. I stood up and I told him he would take delivery only when my wife and I were comfortable with the payment and terms. He asked me to sit down and said he'd do everything he could to make me happy. Happy. I sat down and told him he could start by not charging me the dealer fee and the bank acquisition fee. He said he could not waive either. One was a dealership policy and the other was required by Volkswagen Credit. I asked why they advertised the payment but required adding these fees after the fact. He said these fees were standard with all car dealerships. That's not true. Dealer fees are not standard. There are a few car dealers that do not charge dealer fees. Most do. I'll grant him that. 
I felt like we were getting nowhere, so I decided to bring things to a conclusion. I told Ricky to give me a payment for the vehicle with $2,000 out of pocket. Ricky agreed, left me for a few minutes. He returned along, along with a piece of paper. He showed me what was handwritten on $3,000 out of pocket, including all fees. I told him $2,000 and a payment of one ninety dollars for 36 months and 12,000 miles per year. The bottom line here is the sales manager came back and agreed to match the last request of the shopper. He said for $2,000 a month he would pay the $109 a month. Now this tells me that the car, the car was marked up substantially in addition to the fact it was a bait and switch ad. Uh, I think Schumacher is a, has a good group of dealerships. He's on our recommend list for most car dealers, for most of his franchises. Uh, I'm sorry I'm going to have to take him off because I'm going to fail him on this shopping report. I hope it was a fluke. We will reshop the Volkswagen dealership, and I'm going to take Volkswagen Schumacher off of our recommended list and put it on the do not buy list. Hi, this is Earl Stewart. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to be notified of new videos that we post to our YouTube channel, simply click on the subscribe button at the lower right hand side of the screen. Earl Stewart.